and welcome back to another, um, I can believe I already messed this up. Welcome back everybody to another Emo Summer Production. Today we're here with you with another, um, Master Duels and, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! And, uh, we will start the Absolute Monarch today, because Monarchs, in my opinion, have always been a terror, but really great cards, but I've always had a pretty bad explanation of them. I know my deck building skill still isn't very good. I have made zero changes, um, but, um... Ooh. Lock, duel, and duel. Oh. I have to have these to get to these. And I have to have these to get up there. And that's going to give me that. See, probably that's not going to give me the right orbs to even do this because this is not an earth orb. Am I going to get a structure deck? I like that picture too. That's pretty cool. Alright, so uh, let's look at the scenario. So let's play. That's a video. The Absolute Monarch. My computer ain't turned all the way up. Huh, interesting. In this world, some beings embody the concept of destruction. What's this? Yeah. Their dig dignified appearance and behavior were like those of monarchs. No one knew for what the purpose for what purpose the monarchs sought the destruction of the world. They wield their personal power, sorry, paranormal powers and reduce everything in their sight to nothingness. Could have just said ash, but okay. Thunder booms before them. The trees turn brittle. They boil the mountains. They crack the earth. They conjure storms and submerge all into unformathable darkness. Their world seeped in turmoil and rage sub sub subsumed by violence and when there is nothing more to destroy they move to the next land searching for further destruction all that witness their great destruction shatter in fear yeah sorry hold on it is the fate of any unfortunate enough to be in their path to disappear in an instant and among the destroyers of the world there is an alpha its overwhelming power of intimidation lays. Is that right? Yeah, intimidation lays. Others, other destroyers prone, and it possesses untold strength. Everest, underworld monarch. I actually have his card. Everest, underworld monarch, sits on on his throne in the darkest of darkness, looking on at the destruction of the world as if it were a most natural thing. That's pretty cool. I like how that. I like how those uh, scenarios work. What do you actually do once per turn during your opponent's main phase um, or opponent's battle phase? You can immediately, after this effect resolves, tribute one tribute summon one monster. That could be useful, but I'm not going to really mess with it. I have to use a loner deck. Uh, it even has storm forth mon sorry the monarch storm forth uh, I don't like you the longer decks but okay practice it is let's go practice lava field nice What makes Monarch decks unique? Yes, I'm a little aware. Yeah, I know. Yep. You're level 8, which would normally require more than one tribute. You could be summoned with uh, only one.
sure. Same card, really. I mean, not really, but yeah. Oh, I would love to. It does say two. I thought it just said one. Okay, whatever. This training is too easy. Yeah. I'll destroy that one. I don't really think it matters. I guess I get to destroy all three anyway. Triple change. Okay. I still destroyed all of them anyway because of that. I don't want to attack my opponent's life points directly. I wanted to see what the effect I could do was. Oh, I destroyed his deck. Sounds fine to me. Got those, which is nice. But uh, I need to get these to unlock this. Don't have enough. Sure. Well, that will actually give me some, won't it? That uh, won't give me enough. Hold on. I had to use a lot of there. I remember using him, he's not too bad. It's just as good as a summon skull and attack wise. I don't understand this though, so I can either use the loner and get that, or I could use my deck and get them. But I'll try and get that though. I think that's what I'll aim for right now. The first monarch. The hell do I do have left? with that for now. I feel like I may have made a mistake here though. having this deck will be dark for the most part. I could summon you though. I don't know if it counts as two.
I'm gonna choose you. I'm not really sure if you're any good. I'm gonna choose you, because I'm not sure if you're any good. enough for me. <sighs> I really kind of wish I knew what this did. I really should have just got rid of them because they don't even seem that good. My turn. on it. Activate. I'll take them because why not? Didn't want to do that. Oh well, that's fine. Yep, perfect. I win. Yay! That was fine, I guess. I'm gonna do it with uh, this deck. With my deck. Let's see if I can take them on them. Probably not, because Monarch decks are actually pretty powerful. In fact, I might swap to using Monarch. With a few changes, of course. Emperor of Another Dimension. I just now realized the player's name over really there. Are you done? Yeah, not bad. I really wish some of these animations were a little quicker so that whenever I was to say tell it to um, change phases, I'll click on that, it would just be instant. It would be a lot more reliable. Come on now. Uh, no. If you're not entering your battle phase, there's no point in activating that if you're not entering your battle phase. Ooh. I'm not using a dragon to tribute summon you. That's not really in benefit to me right now. If I played you, you're not dragging your rock. I'll hold on to that for now then. Let's see how that works. A little laugh she does.
Come on, dragon. Not a dragon. I don't have anything in my grave either, so that's also kind of pointless. Um, I could summon you. I could summon you. I'll go ahead and summon you. It doesn't just let me select them like that. Starting to fall apart over there, man. Really? Nothing? You don't have anything to fight me? I just want to uh, insult them a little bit now. I'm gonna destroy that card. And then I'm going to play that card and do something stupid. Just because I've never played this card before. And you now he's even stronger than Blue Eyes. Yes, I would like to continue my main phase. Activate effect. And that's the end. Brutal in fact. There's that, and now we will take the goal. Yep, I did not want to click on that. And goal. Get me a structure deck. Do I get a story? Look like I might. The events of the monarchs, who embody the very concept of destruction, continues. How many countless worlds must they destroy? Got it. No other button works. Lightning, storms, blizzards, lava, and seismic catastrophes. All manners of destruction assail the world. As they advance, the monarchs grow ever stronger, perpetually pushing the boundaries of destruction. Their power defies all matter quality. There is no way to discern uh, whether or not the monarchs are aware of what they destroy. They advance thoroughly, expunging, expunging all that enters their fields of vision no matter the scenario, scenery. However, in a land reduced to rubble, from the heavens this descended a creator, Aether, the heavenly monarch. A savior descended as if a miracle to a land awaiting its destruction. Whether the, this creator could be counted as one of the monarchs is unknown. The ground in which the creator has landed slowly begins to revive. A day will surely come when this land regenerated by the creator will be destroyed again. Nonetheless, with no reward, either the heavenly monarch fills this ruined world with the light of rebirth. I hate reading. This physically hurts. I don't know if other people understand this, but it actually hurts to read. Hurts for me to read. Gate clear. Yeah, I can't do this. Hey, I found a new card pack. I'll do that later. Can I open this yet? No. Well, I guess let's go and see about the card pack thing that I got. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's so much more now. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Odd Eyes Dragon. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know a lot of these, in all honesty. This one right here looks nice. So does that one. The absolute monarch. Okay, and this is gonna be the next one I do anyway. This one I have to clear. All right, so uh, let's go to the store. Of course, we're gonna let it load. It says we've done a lot of things over here, so let's claim all of our rewards. Just hundred gems. Not sure what it was for. Apply for that. 
in the ultimate missions I've done that. I found the secret pack? I didn't know I found the secret pack. Got 11 of them. See these creation points here, or crafting points, I think is actually what they stand for. They're quite useful. Oh yeah, I got icon frame. Nice. I wasn't aware that I did anything. Let me, what does that actually change? Let's see. I like the bronze better. Right. And let's go to the shop. Secret pack. What? get him though and this Ooh, elemental lords I like elemental lords uh, what are you were you the no you're not okay um odds let's see what the odds are so it's gonna be very unlikely at 2.5 to get a Ultra rare, and then there's a lot of ultra rares and all that. Those are from Master Packs. I don't understand this at all. Ah. Uh, At least one super rare guaranteed in the 10-pack. Yeah, no, um, I'm going to pass on this this time. I am. Um, apparently got a gift box. I have a capacity limit to reach. I could have that. Um, I guess I gotta figure out how to fix that. Until then, I will let y'all get on your way, and um, y'all have a good day. Um, I'm probably I don't know if I'm gonna be recording anymore today. Um, I might keep showing this every now and then but as of right now I'm just going to uh, stop this session and just kind of be playing uh, for now on my own um, if y'all do want more just let me know I will be happy to continue going over the stories I might even replace some of them if I've already played them just for y'all until then I hope y'all have had a good time and we'll see you in the next episode bye <laughs>